welcome to part of my imagination i'm imagination and you're the imaginers welcome this is your first time my name is jasmine and welcome back if this is your second or third or how many times you've clicked on my channel welcome if you can't tell by the title of this video today i'm going to be doing five star predictions but with a twist five star predictions of authors i have not read so i was trying to challenge myself because i feel like everyone does five star predictions and there's nothing wrong with it i love the idea this is my first time doing it um but i just wanted to challenge myself and i was talking to princess and we both came up with reading authors that are picking five star reads by authors i have not read and this is going to be a two-part video so this is these are books that i want to read in 2024 um, but these are books that I own already on my shelf. The second part of the video will be, or a second five star prediction will be new releases that I think are going to be five stars. Um, and I separated them just because I, content, okay? We were missing content. So these six books are books that I own already and I have not read from these authors. So let's just get right into it. And the first book that I have is Tides of the, Tides of the Sovereigns by kate gatley this is the first book in the lost wealth trilogy um if you don't know if you didn't watch my imaginarium book festival vlog um i met this author at imaginarium in 2023 this book is signed and yes so she was lovely um but this book is following a centuries-old rebirth curse on an otherworldly Celtic prince and an inescapable prophecy. Um, I believe this book is going to be five stars just because the author was dope as heck. And that's basically what I'm basing it off of. Like, she was super cool. And I feel like anybody that's that cool is going to write a book that I'm going to love. Um, but this reads, 30-year-old magic bearer Julia Harrison had never given the notion of past lives or grand destinies any chance, any real credence or thought. She has knowledge of magic and the power she shares with the women of her bloodline. She's aware of the difference between dwarves and sorcerers, wielders and bearers, druids, excuse me, and so on. But regardless of all that, her everyday life has always felt normal, dis distantly unmagical and never more to than and never more so than as of late. Jesus, my brain is fried. Um, it's gonna be five stars. I could, I could feel it. I could feel it in my bones. Okay, okay. The next five star prediction that I have is *The Conductors* by Nicole Glover. This author, I believe, this is their debut novel. Um, again, I also met this author at Imaginarium. Um, this book had already been on my radar. I just hadn't picked it up. Um, but I believe this book is going to be five stars. And if you don't know what this book is about, this book is following a, uh, it's following a story about what happened after the under, underground railroad. Um, and it takes place in Philadelphia. Let me just read the back to you. Hattie Rhodes and her husband, Benji, were conductors on the Underground Railroad, ferrying dozens of slaves to freedom with daring, cunning, and magic that draws and pa is powered from the constellations. With the war over, those skills find a new purpose as Hattie and Benji solve mysteries and murders that white authorities would otherwise ignore. It's giving me everything that I freaking needed to give. Here's the cover. Get my face out of it. I'm going to be able to focus on the cover. And I'm here for it. You mean to tell me that you had a story about conductors actually on the Underground Railroad? And there's magic? I'm here for it. It's going to be five stars. I can feel it. It's going to be five stars. Okay, so the next book I have is The Faros by um, Nimwali Sarpel. First of all, the cover. Secondly, okay, so this book is following this girl named Cassandra. And a tragic accident happened when she was younger and her brother died. Um, and so she, she's like basically grows up or whatever and 
Yeah. So then as she grows up, she starts seeing her brother everywhere. And then she's like, okay, hold on. What's happening? But then, like, some guy actually comes into her life searching for answers. And he looks. Y'all. TJ, get out of my books. She's in there. Get out of my books. Get out. Oh, that's Nezuko. Get out of my books, Nezuko. That's my life. Like, why? Why did you go in there? What What was the purpose? I don't think she had a purpose. She just wanted to be in here with me. Anyways, yeah. Five stars. I know it's going to be five stars. It's going to be five stars. Um, I recently read... Not recently, but I read... Um, what is it? What is it? What is it? Eleanor. Yeah, Eleanor, which kind of had that, like, lost child, weird magical realism-ish going on. And y'all just know I love me a good family story, okay? And it's a mystery. I'm here for it. All right, the next book that I have is Immoral, Immoral Longing by Chloe Gong. I know this is going to be five stars. It's going to be five stars. I have not even read the Shakespeare that this is based off of or inspired by. I think it's inspired by. Yeah, inspired. Haven't read it. I know it's going to be five stars. I uh, watched Books and Lala Kayla talk about this book. And granted, I had already bought it before I seen her talk about it, but she gave it five stars. And, uh... I just know it's going to be five stars because it's dealing with um, games, uh, champion games. And there's if there's one thing I've learned about myself, I really love a good competition. You know, I really love fight to the death, but also fall in love with the people you're competing with. I don't know. I'm toxic, but I, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And that's basically they live in this world where there's a set of games that go on and they have the ability to jump from body to body and some things are going to be happening and I'm here for it okay and this this book the book is gorgeous okay it's going to be good think I'm going to love it it's going to be five stars okay the next book that I have which I know is going to be five stars because everybody loves it and it's purely just based off the fact that everybody loves the series and I have ne never heard anything bad about this series that is Jade City by Fonda Lee uh, it's going to be five stars why is it going to be five stars? Because. Because. Because I said so. Um, for centuries, honorable green bone warriors have used magical jade to enhance their abilities and defend the island of Kikon from foreign evasion. Now the war is over and a new generation vies the control of Kikon's bustling capital city. Four siblings of the, of the powerful Kaul family must prepare for battle and the fragile peace between the clans is about to break political intrigue it's getting political intrigue and i am here for a political intrigue book it's gonna be amazing i already know okay the last and final book that i believe is gonna be five stars is the library of the dead this is by tilo huchu huchu this book's gonna be five stars why is it gonna be five stars because I said it's going to be five stars. Um, this is following a girl, I believe, who drops out of school be to become a ghost talker. I think. Yeah. Ghost talker. And now she speaks to Edinburgh's dead, carrying messages as though they left behind. A girl's got to earn a living, and it seems harmless enough. Until that is, the dead begin to whisper that someone's bewitching children, leaving them leaving them husk em empty of joy in life. It's in robust city, so she feels honor bound to investigate. But when what she learns will change her world. Woo! Um, yes, I enjoyed uh the Ishlav City of Ghosts. I think I gave it like four stars, which is kind of crazy because I also think that wasn't that book based. Well, they started in Edinburgh. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyways, I really enjoyed that one, and that was in middle grade. So. It's gonna be amazing. I know. Five stars. These are it. These are all the books that I believe are going to be five stars that I plan on reading in 2024. And these are the books that are on my shelves. So 
you're going to see me again. And uh, I'll probably be in the same exact outfit because why not? But yeah, these are all the books that I believe are going to be five stars. So you'll see later on in the video, I guess, of me reading all these books. Maybe I'll vlog it. I don't know. Either way, that's it. That's all that I have. So that's all that I have for you guys today. Be sure to check out my description where you can find easy ways to contact me as well as all the books or videos that I talked about. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if not, just smash that like button to come back again. Until next time, keep imagining.